Hi guys, welcome to Hilti. <laughs> Where is Chelsea? I'm over here, Frank. I'm trying to see how much liquid is in the spray striker. Ah, Do you know? We have the level liquid indicator over here, Chelsea. Ah, cool. Okay, I'm coming down. Oh yeah, please, but watch your steps. Frank, uh, can you tell me more about what's inside of the spray striker? Well, this one is carrying salt liquids. <laughs> it's actually, we are making these from, from 3,000 liters up to 8,000 liters. Wow, that's uh, a lot of liquid. Yeah, and for US mark and US numbers, it is uh, from 500 gallons up to 2,650 gallons. Wow. The liquids are very important in, in the snow and ice industry. And it's, it's the direction where we are going in the industry and everybody should actually. This brine works instantly when it hits the surface, while then the granular salt needs moisture okay. to react to the surface. So why then use liquids is that we have, we have here the raw material and then it's just how you put it together. In this salt solution, we have this much that salt. Am, yeah, that amount of salt, okay. But if you are using standard granulates to reach the same results, you gotta use this much salt. Oh, wow. So you save a lot on expenses, 70, right? 70% of the salt usage. Wow. So it has a, a good impact on the environment and the surroundings yeah. by using this uh, special brine mixture. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, everyone should use this then, right? Definitely they should. The advantage of the brine is that it stays on the road. While this salt, granular salt, is blown away by the wind and the cars when it's driving on the road. Another point is that salt gets into buildings, granular salt, while the brine stays on the property. Yeah, it it's really sticks to yeah. the surface. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Stays where it's supposed to be. Frank, tell us more about the de-icing spray striker. Yeah, sure. This is the first electric de-icing sprayer on the market with high flow pump output. Wow, first on the market. Did you guys hear that? This cabinet contains of two high flow pumps that can produce up to 110 liters per minute out on the spray bar under high pressure. So that's a real game changer on electric de-icing sprayers. Wow. Wow, that's a, that's a lot. So actually that means that with a three lane spray bar, which is this configuration, we can spray with application rate of 30 milliliter per square meter at a speed of 30 kilometer an hour. US terms with the three lane spray boom, 20 gallons per lane mile at a speed of 20 miles an hour. We have optional nozzles to reach up to nine meter in width. Wow. So, so that's about 30 feet. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. Frank, what is this device here? This is our controller for our two-way GPRS control system. This is standard on all the HIP-HILTIP equipment. So this unit is transmitting all the data, what the machine does, and it's also possible to control it from the office, actually. So when a contractor goes out on the street, he doesn't need to do anything else than drive to the sites where he's supposed to be and the controller does the job for you. And it informs into the tracking system how much he did spread and how much time he spent on the site and so on. Everything he needs for any slip and fall claim, which is very important. So, do you want to try it? Yeah, Frank. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this there. one. Oh, there. this one. Okay. Oh, wow. Can you tell me how this spray striker differs from others in the industry? Yeah, as we are specialists in the snow and ice control equipment, especially in electricity, we have invented a very energy efficient pump and control system. The energy efficiency is very important with a machine like this. We have limited 
availability of electricity on all the vehicles. Okay. So, for us, it's been very important from the start when we invented this. It's very common in the industry that you have waste liquid, so to speak, pumped back to the tank, and that's wasted in energy. Our control system is instantly reacting to all the application rate demand that is giving, given to the sprayer itself. And this is the difference that we have a flow meter that reacts instantly and the sprayer pumps only the liquid that is demanded to be on the ground. When looking at all of these components, what's the main difference between the U.S. and European market? Trucks in U.S. are 12 volt, in Europe 24 volt. So to be capable to be performing on this level, for U.S. we have an extra battery kit for 24 volt, which is giving us the opportunity to perform on a much higher level than anyone on the market. Well, thank you, Frank, for teaching us all about the Spray Striker innovations going on here in Finland. Well, thank you for joining us today. Bye, guys. Bye.